Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. And I also think Jasper's about to join us. Today we've got the uh, local barley uh, 10 year old from 2022 release. It's bottled in December 2021. Uh, the barley type's Belgravia or Belgravia, and number of bottles is 15,000. Uh, so it was £80, bottled at 51.6% ABV, and it's going on the secondary market for about £700 to £850. Uh, and there's also one shop, Scotch Embassy, uh, trying to sell it for £1,288. Uh, they should be ashamed of themselves. So uh, we'll get down to the nose, the palate, and the finish, and we'll see if it's a whiskey win or a whiskey bin. If you're new here, how I rate my whiskey is I uh, rate it on three factors. Would I buy it again? Do I think it's worth it? And would I recommend it? If we get at least one out of th uh, two out of three of them, it's a whiskey win. If we only get one, then it's a whiskey bin. So we'll get down to the, the uh, nose. So straight away, there's like a, an oaty biscuit um, scent that's familiar with oats and raisin cookies, but without the raisins. Uh, I'm sure they use kind of butter to congeal it all together, so there's a little bit of buttery element, and because it's a cookie, it's a little sweet. Um, so a, yeah, that kind of like cookie, oaty biscuit, um, and a little buttery. There's damp leaves on there on the nose. It's a little minerally on the nose, a little earthy. There's a the smell you get from uh, rain that's falling on on a path, on a pathway, a walkway, pavement. There's a plastic element like cling film or sellotape. So yeah, quite quite interesting, quite a unique nose and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm not sure if that OE element's linking to the local barley aspect of it. But I think that's what was missing from last year was this, this local barley aspect. The Oloroso um, was just drowning out the local barley element. But I feel like already I can get a sense of the local barley here. Uh, so the palette. Palette's lovely. Um, the fifty-one point six percent is a little evident, but what's striking me most is this um, deluge of agricultural flavours. And what I mean by that is like farm flavour. So it's a little muddy, a little earthy, earthy peat, um, but not too heavily peated. There's hay bales, maybe once again linking to the local barley. This this hay element, dried grass, kind of uh, almost yeah barley. Uh, there's also this real coastal element so I'm picturing a, a, a farm by the coast um, getting barred by the sea air, the sea breeze. Um, so yeah, a farm on the coast. There's also hints of vanilla and something like a dental surgery or like an kind of antiseptic, um, slightly medicinal, not fully TCP uh, like Isla Pete but, but almost there, um, a little medicinal. The, uh, the finish Finish is long, very long, uh, yeah, it's, it's long, it's great. Once again, mineral, uh, chalky, a little bit of earthy peat coming through. It seems like quite consistent, uh, so you've, you've got these kind of isolated flavours, um, such as the, 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 the mineral, the uh, earthy peat, and, and they're quite uh, yeah consistent through this dram. There's something weird, <laughs> um, like a sponge, uh, but not like a sponge cake, but like a new sponge you'd use to clean yourself or, or, or clean your dishes. So like a new sponge flavour. Uh, I don't know what that tastes like. I've never eaten sponge. <laughs> um, and then to finish, a kind of saline solution uh, that you'd put like your contact lenses in. Uh, once again, to go with that coastal element. So yeah, really enjoyable. They've, they've went back to the local barley for me. Last year was a little too much sherry influence. It didn't really... Um, highlight the local barley uh, aspect of the whiskey that it should do but this has went back to, to its roots I feel um, it's similar to the, the 10 year old from two years ago I believe uh, I think it was it had rum influence and port influence and bourbon influence it was lovely uh, this has kind of went back in line with that so we'll get down to the rate and see if the whiskey win or a whiskey bin uh, so would I buy it again I don't think I would uh, at 80 pound um, if I had that, I'd rather buy the, the one from two years ago. So not the Oloroso one, but the, the previous 10 year old. I felt that was a much better whiskey uh, than the Oloroso, and it's just better than this. Not much better, but just. Um, so I, if I was to pick out the three, it would be the other one. Uh, so that's why I wouldn't buy this again. Would I recommend it? 100% uh, recommend trying it. Don't pay 
auction prices, it's not worth it at all. Um, and it's definitely not worth the 1,288 that Scotch Embassy are trying to sell it for the uh, cheeky, cheeky people. Uh, so yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's worth anything over £100, £80 probably bang on, it's a spring bank, it's local barley, the hype's there, the FOMO's there, but I wouldn't be too hung up if you've missed out on this, um, I'd be hung up on the, the, the 2019 release, I felt that was better. Uh, but yeah, I, w I would buy this. Uh, I wouldn't buy this again. I would suggest this. I would recommend trying it if you can get it at cost um, or face value. If you can get it from a from someone from a friend, a sample because uh, it is tasty. Uh, and do I think it's worth the eighty pound? I, I think so. I think uh, I, like I said, the local barley, the spring bank. Uh, I think it's worth the eighty pound, uh, and I think you'll you'll probably struggle to get it now. Like I kind of, I know it's not independently bottled, but like a a, a bottle like this. Um, the way this is produced, it's just, yeah, the way this is produced, uh, the cat's just trying to annoy me, the way it's produced, uh, the way it's uh, presented in that, and the local barley element, you'll probably struggle to get a, a, a whiskey as good as this as well for that price. Uh, so yeah, I think it's worth it. So it's definitely a whiskey win. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, thanks for watching, I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wims, I'll see you later.